Hello guys, my name is Felipe Pasolas and I'm a professional photographer. The last few days I've been working as a photographer here in Sport Winter Games in my hometown, Canada. And due to tons of emails I go about how is being a photojournalist, how is the industry, how you can survive doing photography, I decided to make a short video about that and giving you a few tips about it. Nowadays, photographer, we are asked to be like a portable media station. We are asked to be to shoot still, to shoot video, to uh, for sure giving a briefing of what we are doing, writing down the caption of the photos, but as well they are asking us for writing. So that's why many photographers we jump for being photographer to be a photojournalist. Did you notice that many superheroes they want to be journalists or photojournalists? For example, Superman. Really? Being a journalist? Too softy. He wouldn't make in this industry nowadays. It's really difficult that you complain to the industry how the things are. The industry, since we became digital, everything changed a lot. So my advice is, instead of fighting the industry, try to find solutions to that. Don't complain to your editor or don't complain to different magazines or newspaper because you get paid less or things like that. Or you're, or you have to do a lot of jobs. The point is, save that time and find different solutions, different way to finance yourself, how to get money into your business. Um, I'm thinking Peter Parker, photojournalist? All right, come on, seriously? For me, becoming like a portable media station, it was, it was really tough at the beginning, but with time, you start to understand how it is. First of all, understand that if you do video, if you do photography, both at the same time, it's really difficult. One of them is going to suffer a lot. So decide if you're going to go for photo or for video. It's really difficult to keep a balance, unless you have a lot of time. For me, working as a portable media station is really hard. Normally, I don't have an assistant with me. That's why I'm bringing Peli. This is one of the best bags you can find in the market. It's massive, it's a tank. And normally I use Peli cases. In this case, it's a U100 Elite uh, backpack for your laptop and all the gear you have for working in extreme conditions like that. When I'm working in the snow or in the desert, depends off. The point is, here's a photographer. I need to go to the media center. I need to download the, my photos. I need to download my work. I need to write down. So I cannot use only a sportive or a more sportive uh, back. I need to have something in the middle, something that it's crash proof, that it's waterproof. But at the same time, it's giving me really strong straps. It's really tough to get to carry my gear in safety. I've been skiing all day around, so I can fall down or stuff like that. I need to be safe. I need to be comfortable because this, this tank over here is way like around 25 pounds. Well, I need to be comfortable and need to be handy as well because you need to get into the buses, to get down the buses, all that stuff that if it's not the right gear, it's going to give you troubles. But it's good enough so you can lock that if you are working in a media center like me and you don't want to be worried about somebody sneaking into your bag or something like that, you can lock up your laptop and your gear and it's going to be safe. And you can use different configurations as normally I do, depends on the assignment I'm having. I normally say my students, the product is not making the photographer, the photographer is making the product. No matter how good the product is, if you don't know how to put that into your workflow or how you're going to take advantage of that, no matter if it's a good product or a bad product, all right? It, you're not going to take advantage of that. You need to know how to use your tools. And normally, as I said, remember, theory without practice is nothing. So please, get out there and shoot. Shoot a lot, all right? If you like it, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye.